Hey everybody! So, one of the cool things about learning a language is that you can do it while you do things that are fun, uh, like watching television. So, today I'm going to teach you a cool practice technique that you can use while you watch TV to help your speaking skills. Let's take a look. Okay, so the technique that I'm going to show you is called shadowing. But before we talk about the technique, um, I want to talk about why television is so useful for learning language and how it can help you with your speaking. Uh, I want you to imagine that your English grammar was perfect and that you knew all the words in English. Do you think that everybody would understand what you say easily? Is there something missing? Is there something more than perfect grammar and perfect vocabulary? Well, yeah, there's pronunciation, right? Now, do you think if you had perfect grammar, perfect words, perfect pronunciation, would everybody understand you perfectly? Actually, no. There's still something else that's missing. Do you know what it is? Well, what's missing here is music. Um, every language is more than just a collection of grammar rules, words, and pronunciation, right? Every language has its own unique kind of sound. It has tones and, and word stress and the way people talk, the way they express their emotions. Um, whether it's Chinese or, or, or Korean or English or French or Spanish, all these languages have a completely different sound, a completely different music. And I can tell you that uh, from working in an English school for over 10 years now, um, my Chinese is very, very, very bad. It's almost non-existent. But when I hear someone speaking Chinese, I know that it's Chinese right away. How do I know that if I don't understand the grammar and I don't understand the words? Well, I recognize the music, right? The way people talk when they speak Chinese, the way people talk when they speak Portuguese or Spanish is very, very unique. So this is super, super important. It makes a huge difference to how easily someone understands what you say when you speak that language. If you're really good at um, imitating the, the flow and the, the music of English, it's going to be way easier for native speakers to understand what you say, even if your pronunciation and your grammar are not perfect. So there are a few fantastic ways to get a feel for the rhythms and the music of a language that you're learning. Um, one of them is to spend time talking to native speakers, um, kind of like you're doing right now. You're listening to me talk, you're listening to the way that I form my sentences and the, the rhythms and the, and the flow of my speech, and uh, you're picking it up a little bit. You're learning it intuitively. So. Learning from native speakers is one way. Having conversations with native speakers and going out and talking to them it is fantastic. It's going to help you a lot if you can do that. Another fantastic way is to watch television. So watching television is going to help your pronunciation. It's going to help you with your grammar. You're going to pick up things. It's going to help you with your vocabulary. Uh, but it's also going to help you get a feel for the flow of the language, right? The whole music of the language. Now, I want to teach you a technique that's going to help you boost this part of the learning. It's going to help you learn this music better and more deeply. And that technique is called shadowing. So a lot of times in English classes, uh, teachers will teach pronunciation by saying something and then having the class repeat what they're saying. They say a sentence, and then at the end of the sentence, you repeat the sentence. They say a word, then at the end of the word, you repeat the word. Um, this is a great way to learn pronunciation. It totally works. But shadowing is a little bit different than that. Shadowing is where you repeat what someone is saying just one second immediately after they say it. So as they're talking, you're copying what they say and repeating it. 
So shadowing is great for pronunciation, but it's even better for getting a feel for the emotions and the flow and the music of language. So I'm going to give you an example of how it works. I'm going to pop up one of my videos here and I'm going to copy myself speaking and uh, show you how it works. Now, James, now, James who took English who really took seriously, English and, really was seriously diligent, and was super and was really diligent and was really concerned, I'll see students like I'll this, see students learn like this learning slow. slow. Okay. And okay. On the other hand, and people, on the like, other Michael, hand who don't really care, people like Michael, just having fun, just having he's not fun. Even worried about learning English. He's not even His worried learning about learning English. And he learns super fast. He learns super fast. Okay, so that's how it works. Now, I want you to understand something about this shadowing technique. Uh, yeah, it's going to help you with pronunciation and you're going to pick up grammar. But the point of shadowing is to try to get a feel for the rhythm and the sounds and the music of English, right? It's not such an intellectual exercise. It's not about being perfect. So as you do it, you're going to miss a lot of words and you're going to mess it up and uh, you're not going to have the grammar exactly right. Who cares? It's not about that. It's just about trying to emulate and imitate the whole sort of feeling and spirit of English, right? So don't worry about getting it exactly perfect. Let's go through the steps and I'll give you some tips on exactly how to do this and how to get the most out of doing this uh, shadowing practice, all right? So step one, uh, you're choosing your show. Now, the most important thing when you're picking a show is to pick something that you like. Like, pick something that you enjoy. Don't pick something boring. Pick something that is fun, is engaging, that you're interested in. You're going to learn faster. That's always true in language practice, okay? The second thing, pick something in your target accent, okay? Be aware when you're shadowing, you're learning to sound like the characters on the show that you're imitating when you do this. So if you pick someone who has a British accent, you're going to pick up a British accent, right? So think a little bit about who you want to sound like. Um, if you pick some crazy, eccentric, weird character on a show, you're going to sound like that person. So just be aware of that, okay? And the third thing is you should pick something that is, is fairly easy for you to understand. You don't want to pick something super challenging. You want something where you generally understand most of what's going on so that you understand sort of what's happening in the show as you imitate it, okay? Now, step two, you want to choose a scene to shadow. I don't recommend trying to shadow an entire episode of something or an entire movie. You'll find it takes a lot of energy to do this, so you should do it in short bursts, like 30 seconds or one minute, and then do just that one scene you can do it a couple times or three times um, and get a good feel for it, okay? Um, so basically, you're just watching a movie or watching a TV show until you find a scene that you really like, maybe one with your favorite character or the character that you're trying to imitate, and then stop and do the shadowing practice again and again a few times. Um, you can use a script or subtitles to help you, but I recommend turning off the subtitles when you do the shadowing so that you can really focus on the music and the flow of the language, okay? Now, step three is to do the shadowing, okay? Try it out. Don't forget, being perfect doesn't matter. Being correct and getting all the grammar right doesn't matter. It's not about that. It's about um, just trying to imitate the spirit and the emotions and the sounds and, and rhythm of English and the music of English, okay? That's your goal when you're doing this. You're not trying to get everything right. Um, the other thing is shadowing can be a little bit intense. Uh, it takes energy. Once again, I don't recommend doing it for more than a minute or two at a time. Give yourself a break, find another scene, and do it again with another scene. 
uh, I really don't recommend doing it for more than like 10, 15 minutes in an evening. That's plenty of practice. There's lots of research that shows uh, just doing it for 15 minutes a few times a week makes a big difference in, in people's rhythm, their tone, how they speak, and it can make you way more easy to understand, right? So um, again, that's it for today. Find yourself a TV show or a movie that you really love and try practicing this shadowing. Try doing it a little bit every day and uh, you're going to see really good results with your speaking. Uh, have an awesome week and I'll see you soon.